Woohoo! I don't want to work. Um, I'm going to work. I have a normal eight hour shift today, which is nice. Maybe they might change their minds and be like, oh, you need to stay. We need you to stay because that happens. But uh, um, hopefully it won't because Simon and his girlfriend are going to the Disney parks today. And I'm hoping that when I get off of work, I can meet up with them maybe for a little while. And if not, I think I'm going to go ride some rides at Hollywood Studios anyway, at least a couple, because I haven't been on Rock and Roller Coaster or Tower of Terror in a long time, and I want to do it. So I'm going to take you guys along. Um, but yeah, so that's today. When I get off work, I'm going to try to go do some fun stuff. And I actually have some fun things planned all week that I want to do. Like I want to, like I get off early all this week. I'm working 5 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. shifts. Um, the only problem is that, well, except for today, I'm not doing that. And I'm not doing that tomorrow. So starting on Monday, I'm working 5 a.m. to 1.30. The only problem with that is that it's going to make it to where I can only get like three hours of sleep a night because I have to pick up Courtney at 11 because we only have one car and the bus wasn't, won't run that late for him. Um, so I'm not really sure how that's going to end up going, but my plan is, is that when I get off work to go to the theme parks every day this week, I actually just thought it'd be fun and uh, um, I'm also willing to take suggestions so if you want to see a hotel or something because you're coming out and you want to just see something around Orlando let me know I can go and do it because I'm gonna have lots of time to kill in the afternoons and hopefully I won't be too tired to actually go out and do it but I'm going to try my best so let me know if there's something that you want to see. But uh, um, otherwise, I will check back in later on tonight when I'm in Hollywood Studios and I'm going to be riding some rides. Okay, so I'm at work and I have got here a little bit early. Um, and I put on some makeup. And I just wanted to get on camera with it to see if there is a difference. If you can see a difference, let me know. Um, I like makeup, but I don't wear it very often because like I said, it's always so neutral. I don't feel like you can even tell that there's a difference, but if there is, let me know. If you'd like to come to um, Hollywood Studios and you've been here before and you've noticed that the stormtroopers wouldn't stop and take pictures while they were on patrol, they're trying out a new thing where the stormtroopers are definitely like pausing to take pictures with people, but not just with anybody, like they've been kind of choosing who they take pictures with. We're at Hollywood Studios and there's a hobo on a bench. People will sleep anywhere. In case you haven't been able to tell by my saying so, I'm at Hollywood Studios right now. And it's getting dark and I haven't really used this camera outside in the dark so I'm hoping that this light setting that I have it on works. I'm also doing this new thing where I hang out by myself and talk to myself while I'm talking to the camera. I'm talking to you guys, I'm not really alone, but other people don't know that. There's the Tower of Terror. That ride is so awesome. But that's not where I'm going. I'm going to the Rock and Roller Coaster. I may ride the Tower of Terror after. This is where I'm going, right here. Aerosmith's Rock and Roller Coaster. I've heard some people complaining about how they need to update it from Aerosmith to something else or maybe like new songs or something, but I'm fine with it. It's still good the way it is. The entryway is pretty awesome with the guitar roller coaster track and I don't know. I think it's cool. I like this ride a lot. Wait time is 60 minutes. I don't know if it's focusing in on that. I really can't tell. I don't think so. Anyway, wait time is 60 minutes, but I got a fast pass. And that's the standby line. Which I'm heading into the fast pass line so I don't have to stand with any of these people. Ha 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 ha. Special. Yeah, way! <laughs> <laughs> 
There's a girl like yelling at everybody, letting them know that there's two doors to get into the ride, and everybody always ignores one. <laughs> Rock and Roller Coaster, I went ahead and decided to film it anyway, and it was, I don't know what it's going to look like, but I'm going to put it up, and it was awesome, I love that ride. Okay, so I'm taking the Fast Pass entrance to Tower of Terror. I usually don't take Fast Pass for this ride, I usually um, actually stand in line. And the line right now is 35 minutes long, which isn't bad, but the Fast Pass line isn't exactly short, so. Sorry, it's dark, I'm just getting what I can. Yeah, 
last pass line does look pretty long too, but we'll see how it goes. Having to yell at people to fill in all available space kind of ruins the ambiance in this classy hotel. <laughs> I love the stuff. This stuff is probably like really old and vintage. It's not even fake. Like they get real genuine antiques and stuff. I mean, everything at Disney is so dang detailed. I mean, obviously that bust that you can't see right there is a fake, but a lot of stuff they get is genuine.
One stormy night long ago, five people stepped through the door of an elevator and into a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> that door is opening once again, and this time, it's opening for you. Oh, oh wow. Hotel. I know it's like super dark and you can't really see a lot of it, but I'm gonna go ahead and post it anyway so you can hear what's going on. And the screaming on the right is always the best part anyway. So that was a super fun, quick little trip to Hollywood Studios. I really enjoyed myself. I rode a couple rides. They only have four rides that are open right now, so I opted to go on Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster. I didn't wasn't able to get a fast pass for Toy Story Mania or um, Star Tours, and I didn't really want to wait because it you know I did work all day and it is getting kind of late and I want to get going. Um, but yeah, I had a super good time. The quality of the videos is going to be kind of bad, but I'm going to post my ride videos anyway just because I took them and I, I took them, so I want to put them up and I'm going to. Um, Hopefully you'll be able to see something good out of them. I'm still trying to figure out the aperture settings that I have on this camera for whatever reason. It's, I know it's supposed to be a really good camera and everything, but I'm struggling to get things to zoom correctly. I mean, it has like 30 times like wide optical zoom and everything, and I still can't get it to like zoom clear. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I need to figure out how to get this. I just need to like take the time to go through some tutorials and everything on this camera. And I just have not done it yet. And I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow, Super Bowl Sunday, should be a fun day for most people. Not for me, though. I gotta work. So, ah, yay. Um, I don't work until later in the afternoon, so I plan on sleeping in because, as I mentioned before, like, Monday through Thursday, I'm working at 5 a.m., and I'm not gonna be in bed until, like, around midnight, so it's gonna be, like, a whole week of three hours a night of sleep, so, or, uh, it's gonna be an interesting week. We'll see how it goes. Um... I'll definitely keep you posted. But, uh, um, yeah, so tonight's country that I'm featuring in my little list of countries that I'm going through to say goodbye in their official language is Belize. I honestly was expecting the official language of Belize to be Spanish because it's where it's located, South America, but, uh, um, it's not. It's actually English, and I was really surprised to learn that, so... I uh, get to say goodbye tonight in good old fashioned English. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Freaking Orlando traffic. I swear. I four. These people are crazy. So the traffic was plugging along like super nicely, and then all of a sudden we come to a dead stop. 
why? Because on the side road, the road that it was over by the outlets, that's not even the highway, had some flashing police lights on it. That's why. And nothing to do with I-4. But everybody had to like stop and look and see what was going on, which you couldn't even tell and it doesn't even matter because it wasn't on the road we're trying to drive on. What the heck people, learn how to drive on I-4.